Hey everyone, welcome back to Hinterland. So we are in October and we are starting our sunflower harvest. We've got a pretty decent sized field of sunflowers that we need to get picked up. Uh, let's take a quick peek here at our map. That's the, uh, in fact, that is, I would say almost arguably the largest field we have yeah okay so this is a big one um got the lexion fired up warming up i leased the is it capello um helianthus helianthus Hel <laughs> helianthus 12,000 12 12,000 12, not 1200 12,000 the helianthus Ooh. What's this uh, warning label right there? Oh yeah, I would hope so. Keep your hands out of the uh, something. I wouldn't put my hands anywhere near this thing. I mean, look at this thing. Look at the blades on it. No thanks. It is a pretty sweet looking little header though. And I guess the benefit of what? Going with um, the specific um, sunflower heads is you get a little more speed, I guess, rather than going with the, like, a corn head or something like that. Also have our Colossus with our wagon over here. We're going to attempt, once again, to do a little... Um, course play and we're gonna see if the class will unload our little buddy here I haven't had a great deal of luck with that self unloading seems to work great <clears throat> but having the tractor going on load maybe not so much let's create a course here number of headlands is there a lot of I don't think there's a lot of stuff around this that we have to worry about. I would think two headlands would be plenty. We can start work on center, I guess. Um, sharp is fine by me. Up and down is fine by me. And let's generate a course here. That looks reasonable. A little, maybe some tree action here, but not too bad. Not too bad. Our starting point is way over yonder, so we're going to need to get him over there. And then I think if we run over to our class, um, I just don't know. I just don't know. I, I think the likelihood that it's going to... I think it. I think we might have some luck with it unloading the combine, but the unlikelihood of it going to the bunker site, or to our silo and unloading and coming back is probably slim to none. Um, combine, unload, silo wood brown, empty went over, I think that's I think that's what we want, right? We can create a job. CP unload combine. Um, activated unload silo uh, unload on the no I don't want unload on the field. Is that new unload in the field? I don't remember seeing that before. Uh, activated silo with brown combine loader combine loader. I'm noticing something odd down here. Huh. Does it think that, what, what is this thing here? Does, do you notice, look at this right here. When I change it from combine to unloader. I don't like the looks of that. All right, well, let's try. Let's just see.
I'm not sure what it thinks. This isn't, this isn't boat. This is not good. Where, where is it going? So it crossed the river. I don't think it knows. What's well, going to our vacation? You know what? We're just gonna. We gotta put the kibosh on that. Clearly, it's not understanding what we're doing here. Happy Tuesday, by the way. I did find some more collectibles. According to the game, there are two collectibles I am missing. And yes, Ten Man, I did find the one in the water. So I was happy to find that. Um, but there's two I'm still missing. I have no idea where they are. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Um, I did a lot of looking, too. I'm not really sure. I don't know. I'm going to have to keep looking. Um... This, yeah, it thinks there's a combine over by our farm. I don't understand that. Load and deliver, deliver, unload, combine, unload, combine. I don't know what it thinks the combine is over there. Well, let's try something else. Let's get, um,. Let's get this combine going. Maybe it'll help if there's an active combine on the field. I don't know. I was really hoping to automate this a little bit more. I may have to break out the auto drive. I think I'm I think I'm just trying too hard to get course play. To do things that auto drive can do better. Uh, where's our starting point? I thought our starting point was over here somewhere. Yeah, it's right in front of me. All right. And the arrows are pointing the other way, so let's turn our little buddy around here. I'm gonna line this puppy up and first waypoint absolutely at least for now okay so we've got a combine and we've got our tractor here we're gonna create a job Combine on load, combine activated. It still to me looks like it thinks there's a combine over here. What is that that it thinks is over there? That doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, does it think... We need to come over here and take a quick peek at something. Where am I all turned around? I'm all discombobulated. So for some reason... Does it think that our forage wagon or that this... Our TMR mixer? Is that what it's having issues with? What if I deactivate, deactivate that, I 
I don't know. It's acting goofy to me. Silo Wood Brown. That all together. Oh, maybe. Oh, Brad. I bet that's the problem right there. Field position. Okay, maybe that's what was driving it crazy. It didn't know what field I wanted it to focus on. Maybe? Could it be that easy? Should we just let this... <laughs> I don't know where it's going again. It shouldn't be going for a ride this way. Oh, wait. Oh, it's going to cross the river again. I don't know if it, if it just wants to go to... Does it just, does it want to just go to uh, the silo for some reason? Because it is taking a really long path. Oh, what's, oh, look, look, look. I just figured it out. I just figured something out. All right. Come back around. Come back around. I see the problem. Well, maybe. As soon as I, uh, as soon as I saw, yeah, we can go across river too. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. All right, you line up right here. I think I know what the problem is as far as why it wants to go. It was, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, follow me on this now. Let's um, create a job. Um, combine unload. Combine activated silo. This is our field. We need to set a target position was set way over here so let's set our target position there now it should run up to the target position and park and it should just sit there calmly while our combine this fancy cloth is getting her done with the sunflowers. I'll tell you, I had a game crash. Uh, boy, I haven't had Farming Simulator crash on me in forever. And I had a game crash today. It wasn't a big deal. I was just messing around and testing a couple things for, um, for mods. Oh, it looks like our tractor's heading our way, actually. Are you are you coming? I think it's coming. Come on, little Klaus. Um, maybe Klaus is not coming? What do you what do you Oh boy. This is It looked so promising. Oh, oh, okay. I, I don't know why it kind of just was stopping. There is so much calculation and effort going into making this happen in the background, I can't even imagine. Thanks for driving over my sunflowers, by the way. I appreciate that. That's why crop destruction is always turned off in my games. Well, let's be real. I mean, I... I would destroy a lot of crops as well, so. Now, it should unload. Actually, it should. Now, am I going to have to worry about maybe that arm's not long enough for it? Or do I need to worry about this tool offset business again? Oh, I like that. Let's... You can actually see the red lines. I don't remember that being there before. So if I bring it up like this... I don't think it wants to do it. This just isn't looking promising. I can do self onload, I guess. 
Okay, did he shut the engine off again? Yeah, he shut the engine off again. I don't remember those red lines being there before. That's kind of nice. You can actually see. I'm wondering if it's having a hard time with how close that has to be. I should have got an auger extension on the Kloss. Maybe I'll just switch it to self-unloading and see if... Um, or maybe we can just run with it and do it ourselves. I actually had an, an idea um, why I wanted course play to kind of handle this for us today. Because I wanted to show you all something. Let me get out of its way. I'm going to park you there. Let's go to the class. I think I can... Uh, Self-unload. Combine self-unload is activated. I don't know if I need to stop this thing. now that I activated that or not and do I need to maybe go to this thing it really doesn't even have a job created for it it doesn't look like yeah I might have to whip out the old auto drive and see if that's going to help nearest waypoint self on load let's see if uh thing's pretty far off the ground, isn't it? Is that how far that header's supposed to be off the ground when you're doing sunflowers? Maybe it is. I bet it is, right? Because I'm assuming what you're going for when you're harvesting sunflowers are the seeds, right? The sunflower seeds? And they're up top. And you can actually see how high this these stems are that it's leaving behind so maybe that is the typical sunflower header height I'm gonna look on YouTube and watch some real-life sunflower harvesting just to see what it looks like doesn't that look kind of goofy though with how high that is off the ground huh okay so here's the reason why I kind of wanted to get course play doing its thing in the long run here let's go over to our factory here Ooh, lots of clothes waiting for us so I'm thinking about expanding our production uh, area over here and one thing led to another and I think I'm gonna I think I'm thinking I think I'm thinking dairy but more specifically, butter. And I found this little guy here, this butter factory, butter company factory. I like it. I like the way it looks. It seems like it fits into hinterland pretty nicely. And it's got a nice viewing area there where people can come and watch the butter being made and whatnot. It actually reminds me a lot of if you have, um, we have a um, honey glazed donuts. Is that honey glazed? Is that right? That doesn't sound right to me. Anyways, we've got a, <laughs> I think that may be right. But we've got a, we actually have, they're pretty popular around in my area. And you can actually, it actually looks a lot like this kind of a deal where you can go there and you can watch the donuts being made uh, in a room much like that. And with a viewing area, and in fact, you can buy your donuts, like, fresh off the factory floor. Warm. These things are buttery, beautiful donuts that will melt in your mouth. It's unbelievable. But, 
I don't think it's honey glazed donut. That does not sound right. That sounds like a ham. Honey glazed ham. Anyways. Can't believe I can't remember what the name of the donuts are. So this is 70 grand. What I like about it is it'll make butter, but it'll make three different... Well, it makes only one kind of butter, but it will do it three different ways. It'll do regular milk to butter. It'll do, I think, canola oil. I don't know those icons very well that are sitting right there. But you can see you can mix milk and oil to make to produce even more butter faster. And what's cool... Oh, nice big plane going by. Sorry about that, everyone. And then um, you get a... Since we're producing oil at the bakery downtown in the village, that would blend in absolutely perfect, I think, along with this facility. And I'm thinking we want to make butter because in our production... In our production chain, if we want to make some cakes, which I think would be kind of nice to be able to do, right? We will provide flour. We will provide milk. We will provide eggs. We could now provide butter. We can buy sugar and strawberries. Actually, strawberries we could even provide if we wanted to either change one of our open-air gardens and I, actually, I've been thinking about putting down strawberry gardens anyway. So I think sugar would be the only thing we might have to boat in from the mainland, um, which I don't mind doing um, at all, to be honest with you. I mean, we could process sugar and maybe we will down the road. But initially to get this whole thing started, we can we can cart in sugar from the mainland. And then um, strawberries are easy enough to take care of on our own. We could also buy those, but either way, no big deal. But most of these ingredients, we, we're we ready to produce. So, with your blessing and $70,000, I think we should go for it. And let's see here. Butter, 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 butter. I'm thinking right across the street from our little factory here. Somewhere in this neighborhood here. I'll dress it up some more, of course, like I always like to do. Maybe fence it up, put a parking lot. Maybe not quite as fancy as our spinnery, but um, I think that's a nice location. I, this is kind of the direction I wanted to build out our production area anyways, kind of this way. And maybe down this way if we want to do more retail or selling points, maybe this way. Or, you know, we can always get some more farmland going as well but I'm kind of thinking something it's kind of pretty over here you got the trees right there I'm gonna kind of make it so that it's kind of um, more or less parallel to that and we'll just set it back a little ways because no use crowding ourselves and maybe over a little bit more like that and there we go I like it. I like it a lot. Of course, we're going to have to bring power over to it. This will be super easy to get in and out of to drop our milk off. If I'm being honest, that building... I, I mean, I like it. I'm not trying to be... <laughs> I'm not trying to be um, negative to the mod author. But that building reminds me a lot of the buildings where I, I used to live in Minnesota and near the Twin Cities. And there was a fairly large mental health facility, let's just say, in the city I lived in. It was actually quite renowned as far as I know, especially for the Midwest for a mental health facility. It was quite large too, many, many buildings. This looks like one of what I remember, very similar to what I remember the buildings looking like, of course, without the the butter making process here on the side. <laughs> but this part of it right here, oh yeah. I, I'm sorry, I had to share that. I know it's it seems odd, but that's just something I, yeah. You know I share things with you all that 
you probably wonder why I do. Okay, so you're not self-unloading. I, I appreciate that. Um, that this has just been completely combine. If I just do this, will it even make an effort? Let's see what it does here. Maybe I need to look. Maybe I uh, maybe I should stop stop using these beta versions of course play. Okay, so it wants to I think the problem that it's having, I'm almost convinced now of the problem that it's having. So you stop for a second. Let me get let me get out of here. Let me get out the way. And can we can we let me save the game real quick because I'm not sure about something here. So if I run over to the combine, and eh, we can leave that alone, and we go into customize, and what I'm looking to do is customize the pipe. Might as well make it quite a bit longer. What I'm concerned about is it losing our... Oh, it didn't. Good. Okay. I honestly thought it might empty our... Um, sunflowers out of the hopper there. I'm glad it did not. And let's see if this thing... Not so much, or... So it shut itself off once again. I think it's going to try and go over to the silo to empty, and I really don't want you doing that. I really hate giving up on these things. As you can see, I make a concerted effort to... Uh, pick a target position. I'm just going to pick that for a target position. Field position is correct. I don't know why that's there. Combine, activate, blah, blah, blah. Start job. I'm going to give it one more chance. I have a feeling, oh, I know what's going on. I got a, um, I'm a nearest waypoint. Oh, what happened to my course? Oh, this is bad. Oh. So when I customized, well, that stinks. So when I customized the combine, it got rid of the course. So if we generate the same course, theoretically, we should be okay, right? Okay. Nearest waypoint, start. Oh, you're gonna go self unload, aren't you now? <laughs> you little stinker. Or wait, what what are you doing? Um, okay. I didn't touch anything, so it's figured out there's a combine now again. However, our combine is not 
back on track the way it should be, but that's easily fixable. Come on, you all oh, pull up or I'm going to lose my mind. Come on, baby. Do it. Pull up. Come on. Jeez, just barely. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. I don't understand. And wh where's our combine going? I guess it's going... I guess it's going... Okay, that's probably my fault. I think I set it up on the wrong path. Now, it should unload... Get up there, buddy. Just get up there. You know what you need to do. Do I have stop the combine when unloading? I think that helps too. Boy, the combine. Um... I think I see what one problem is. I generated that course and it looks like it completely turned the arrows around. All right, just stop, just stop. All right, I'm gonna figure this out. If you don't see me tomorrow, you know that I've completely rage quit. Um, farming sim actually no it's not farming simulators fault this one this is yeah this is probably user error in conjunction with trying to make it do something that uh, just isn't very good at doing so hey um, let me know what you think about the butter factory I guess we put it down so there's that I'm gonna try and beautify that butter factory a little bit not sure if I'll do that tonight or tomorrow or when, but we need to at least get a gravel path in there so we can get our tractor in there to deliver some milk and oil when we finally get some, uh, is it canola oil? And we should also be getting olive oil too, I believe. So, hey, thanks for watching everyone. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I do really appreciate that. Subscribe if you'd like to as well. And of course... Have a great Tuesday. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you back here, probably on this very field, tomorrow on Hinterland. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.